Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. This is Word Association with Cole Palmer. Cole, here's how it's going to work. In front of me, I've got a list of words slash topics. I'm going to read them, and you're going to write on this whiteboard the first thing that comes to mind. You ready for this? Yeah, ready. Let's do it. Go. First up, footballing hero. Show it to the camera. Wayne Rooney. Go on, talk to me about Rooney. What a player. What a player. I know just when I was growing up, when I was younger, I used to obviously watch um, all the football. Yeah. And I know just one that stuck in my head was Rooney. And yeah, ever since then I was little, that yeah. was been my footballing hero. And do you look at your game? Do you try and model your game on his? Or, or no. I know he's a slightly different player. I think but... we're completely different players. Yeah. But obviously, yeah, I just think that's why he's my football hero, because he was so good at such a yeah. young age yeah. and obviously what he did for England and stuff. So, yeah. Interesting as well, because you had the City background, obviously he was Man United as well. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's, that's nah, interesting. I just said my good, great players, me. The Nutmeg King. Now, this can be anyone that you've played with. You can put yourself if nah, that's I've you. Got, I've got one that comes to mind Go on. straight away. I don't know how to spell his name. Another E in it. I think so. Yeah. I think that's how you spell his name. I think some people will be surprised at that based on the amount of players that you've played with. The one in that, your that's just one that springs to mind because right. we used to go all the tournaments when we obviously were younger, we same yeah. age group. It's so a 2002 age group. We used to go like Greece, Spain, and stuff. Yeah. And just used to nutmeg everywhere. Like, really? Just all relentlessly the time. in training, yeah. yeah. And just like in training and stuff. Yeah. Like, just, that's why it just comes to my head. Yeah. And in terms of nutmegs on you, is that, is that a regular occurrence? Nutmeg you a few times in training? Nah, not you. <laughs> not you. Everyone I else. Stay away from me. <laughs> Everyone else but yeah. you. Next up, goats. The footballing goat. The footballing goat. Yeah. One name. Who are you saying? The obvious one. Go on. Let's show it to the camera. You said it very quickly. A lot of people would agree with you. Why Messi for you? Just the way he plays. Um, everything he's won. All the individual trophies. Mm. Just think he's the best player ever. Yeah, Ronaldo close second for you, or is Messi clear for you? No, Messi is clear for me, but obviously Ronaldo is obviously yeah. one of the greatest players ever as well. Yeah. Okay. Don't think a lot of people can argue that. We'll go Messi. Um, next one, I like this one. Biggest joker that you've come across in football? There's a few, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say one. Oh, I don't know. Are you changing your mind? Nah, there's two. Actually, I'm gonna go. Oh, he used to make me laugh so much. <laughs> Super Jackie Grealish. I think it's his accent as well, you know. <laughs> what, you just find his accent? I, I don't know, just the, thing he, just the thing he says and just like, I don't know, I just think he's funny. Like, Go it's on, funny. give us an insight as a teammate, former teammate of Jack Grealish, what he's like around the place. Just so like loud, not annoying loud though, do you know what I mean? Like just lively loud <laughs> yeah. and like, I don't know, he just makes me laugh, but like, it's, it's funny. Is he a bit of a prankster as well? Does he like putting pranks on players or just more of a joker? Mm, more of a joker, I yeah. Think. Like just, oh, it's just, me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the other one you were thinking of? Because you were debating between two. Who was the other player? Zinchenko was quite funny as well. Was he? Yeah. What sort of things would he get up to? I don't know. He was just, he just loved to like just mess about and just, he was a bit of a prankster, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What, just sort of messing about people's kit in the changing room and cars yeah, and stuff? Yeah, it's funny, just the comments he said and stuff, just, I don't know, just made me laugh as well. The year 2023, obviously you had an unbelievable 2023. Yeah. Treble, obviously the under-21s the under as yeah, well yeah. with England. And of course, signing for Chelsea. So, in one word, how do you describe 2023 the year? Uh, I don't even know how to spell this. Yeah. Is that how you spell it? I, I think so, yeah. It's not, is it? it's not a lot, I right? think it is. Show it to the camera. Surreal. It is to us. Yeah, we're right. <laughs> we had to get verified oh, that, yeah. both of us. Shout out Duncan, our cameraman. But uh, surreal, go on. Explain. Obviously, everything that happened, the treble, yeah. the Euros, and then obviously signing for Chelsea was just like, you know, just made me look at things in a different way. like. In what way look at things in a different way? Because obviously I've been out of City my whole career. Yeah. That's all I've knew. The trophies you never think you'd win. Mm. And, I was, and signing for Chelsea, you never think that you'd move from Manchester to London after being there your whole mm. life. So it was a big change and just, it's surreal. Was it a tough decision for you? Because obviously I, I saw how excited you were in your statement at joining Chelsea, but obviously mm. you've been at Man City for so yeah. long. So was it a difficult decision at the time? Yeah, of course it was a very big decision. Like. I thought about it for a while. What should I do? Like, but then at the end of the day, just decided to just go with it and yeah, I'm here now. Love it. Is there a particular moment of all of those? Tough question, this. A highlight of all of that you achieved in 2023? One moment that stands out? Favourite moment probably when that free kick went in versus Spain and right. the celebration. Yeah. And then everything, like just that whole game and just the feeling after it and stuff. Yeah. Like winning that was probably just, that was probably that one. What are you going to write for Raheem Sterling? Someone you know very well. 
How do you describe Raheem? Oh, I like this a lot. Big brother. Go on. I know it sounds softy, but like... <laughs> That's a bit. You know what I mean? Not like in terms of that, just like the advice he gives me stuff. Obviously, yeah. he's a lot older than me. Yeah. He's seen me come through at City, give me advice when I was coming up. Like, he's always, like, said to me if, like, what he thinks of me and stuff, which has given me confidence. Yeah. And then when I've come here, obviously, he's, he was happy when I joined. I spoke to him before I come. And, yeah, so... Yeah, I've seen that, actually. There's a really nice video that Chelsea mm. put out, and it's like when you're seeing the training ground, the stadium for the first time, and he comes... And it's just a really nice moment yeah, where yeah. he embraces you. He's, he's something you've always looked up to, as you've said. Yeah. Was, was he part of your decision-making in coming here? When you said you spoke to him, did he help sell Chelsea to you? Yeah, obviously, he told me the good things about it and just tell me what he thinks, like, how I can help and stuff like that. So, yeah, he did, probably did help a little and bit, And what a player yeah. as well. Yeah, of One of the best that you've played with in your career? Yeah, I think he's massively underrated as well. Do you? Like, yeah. obviously, all the goals he scored, the assists, how many times he played for England in major tournaments yeah. and stuff. But yeah, it's a great player. Top player. Next up, London. Obviously, you've moved down from Manchester to London. How do you describe the capital city? <laughs> he's got a lot of exclamation marks here. Busy with three exclamation marks. So on. busy. <laughs> the traffic in London. Oh it is a nightmare, God. isn't it? Like, you've been on the M25? Probably, I don't know what that is. <laughs> the motorway, it's No, been... I know it's a motorway, yeah, but I don't yeah. know which one. Yeah. I've just been in central London, like, you can't drive anywhere. You can't, no. but it's just annoying. You're just, like, going, breaking, going, breaking. Do you know what I mean? It's so true, yeah. But in Manchester, like... It is true, it's a bit, a bit nice, Manchester's, isn't it? It's obviously, there's going to be a bit of traffic, but yeah. it's smaller, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's not as much traffic, but London... Wow. It looks like it's really frustrating you, that, with the look at your face. It really it's annoys It's not frustrating me. I leave dead late. Yeah. Not on purpose, but just that's just how I am. I'll leave last minute. Yeah. Or even a bit <laughs> over. You know what I mean? Yeah. So obviously here, I, did, I, I didn't leave last minute. I left a bit of time. So yeah. Fair, I, I put the. So obviously on match day, right? Yeah. We drive and we get the bus and go to the hotel. Yeah. It was my first time driving to Stamford Bridge. Put Stamford Bridge on my ways. Yeah. Went to drive there. <laughs> took me to a dead end. And I left too late. Right. Wow. So I missed the bus to come to the hotel. Wow. And because there was so much traffic, I was thinking, oh, I'm not in Manchester now, like, I need to learn to actually leave. What, what was the reaction yeah. from the club? They're stressing with you. I just FaceTimed the guy and turned the camera around, and I was at a dead end. <laughs> Nothing I could do. I, just, I like the fact you put it. three exclamation marks on it just to, just to emphasize that yeah, busy. you're really not happy with the traffic. <laughs> there we go. Next up, Erling Haaland. How do you describe him in one word? I think this is a great word, by the way, to describe him. Machine. Yeah. Go on, you're talking about just, just a goal-scoring just... machine. Of goal-scoring machine, his build, his physical appearance, everything. What's he like in training? Yeah, unbelievable. Really? Yeah, One yeah. of the best trainers? Because you, yeah. you do hear some players say some players train differently to how they are on the pitch, but is he as relentless in training as he is on a match day? Yeah. I think he prepares more for the matches, though, you know what I mean? Right. Like, some players will... Like, I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Obviously, his physio work and everything is just always on it. Future Ballon d'Or winner for you? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. What a player. Next up, Ashley Cole. Obviously, Chelsea legend and also one of the coaches as well. Yeah. That's two words, but... Top guy. Go on, yeah. talk to me. Just like one of us, really, at England. Yeah. One of the lads. He's played for Chelsea how many times and been in teams and dressing yeah. rooms. So I think he knows what it's like. So when he's with us, he's just obviously when it comes to the training, he's on it. But when he's just with us, he's a normal guy, top guy. Really? Nice. How is he as a coach as well? Because there's a lot of talk within the game yeah. about how talented he is as a coach. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us insight on how good he is and where you think he can get to? Yeah, he has a lot of experience working yeah. with, well, playing and working yeah. with Everton, Chelsea, yeah. and stuff. So yeah, he gives a lot of detail. I think he can come a top coach. Like it. Next up, Kukurea's hair. A bit of a random on this. <laughs> what? what are your thoughts in one word of how you describe his barnet? <laughs> Curly. I just see all the curls. <laughs> it's a good barnet, isn't it? Do you like it? You rate it? Could you rock his barnet, do you think? Nah. <laughs> uh, next up, England. Obviously, we spoke about your success with yeah. the under-21s, your goals for England. Enjoyment, playing and simple. You love, love playing for, you, for your yeah. country, the under-21s. It's a lot different to club football. Go on, in what way? It's more... More freedom, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you get a bunch of players and you put them together and you've not got long on the camp with him, so you're not going to 
be able to teach him, oh, you've got to play this set way, do you know what I mean? So you go out and freestyle a bit, with a, obviously with some ta tactics. Yeah. So I think you just have that enjoyment of, like, well, players like me just love, like, attacking and expressing himself. I think it's really enjoyable. Next one, Levi Colwell. Again, someone you know well. And why did you laugh? Because I can say so many things. Come on, you got a few stories here, right? Excited. Go on, show that, show it. Let's get that. So what do you mean, go on, what do you mean by it's that? He's just dead excited, just, <laughs> every, like, even if it's nine in the morning, he's just dead excited, just... What about anything? Just trying to play jokes on you and just stuff like that, you think it's nine in the morning, like, just chill out <laughs> Just chill out. You know what I mean? <laughs> but to be fair to him, he's helped me settle in. Has he? Yeah, yeah. I sit next to him in the changing room. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Played to. Top player as well. What level do you think he can get to? Because he's someone that you've play, played a lot with, know very well. Yeah. What level do you think he can get to? Yeah, I think he can go to the very top. Obviously, he's got every single attribute that you want in a centre back, and he's humble and he's a good kid. So yeah, don't see why he can't go to the top. Cole, that concludes word association. How did you get on with the uh, the whiteboard, by the way? You, you found the whiteboard all right? Yeah, he's used it in school. <laughs> nice whiteboard. Good. I bought that the other day. It's, it's good. It's decent. Uh, thank you very much for your time, mate. All the best the rest of the season. Thank you very you much. You can keep the whiteboard. Cheers.